Uh, alongside Talk TV's Nicola Thorpe and Esther Crackers, I just said. Well, Ryan, thank you for joining me. So I did chuckle because I had a similar thing myself, <laughs> which you may or may not have heard about, uh, when I did a similar stunt. Uh, but you were making the same point, I think, which is if we really want to have a world where anyone can identify as anything, well, why shouldn't you be able to identify as a woman of colour? Well, Pierce, uh, you're absolutely right. And I, I appreciate it. I want to thank you for bringing me on the show. And uh, as a fellow uh, lesbian woman of color, um, I feel we have a deep connection here. But you're right. They've uh, they've laid the groundwork. They set it up where anybody can be anything that they want uh, just by simply declaring it. And, um, you know, that's what we're doing here. And it uh, turns out that they don't really feel as strongly about that and believe it in their soul as they would make you believe because, you um, I wasn't really as accepted in the beginning as you would think someone of my stature would be. Yeah, and the reaction was unbelievably vicious. People calling for you to be executed. Of course, they wanted you fired. Of course, they wanted you cancelled. And all entirely predictable because it's fine for them on the other side of this debate to identify as whatever they want. But the moment you dared to identify as what you decided you wanted to be for that day, all hell breaks loose. It's the double standard. Well, uh, predictably, uh, the political left, they, they always implode on their own ideology. Um, I've, I've made a statement that I'm just holding up the mirror uh, to them, and they're doing all the damage themselves. I've just stepped back, and uh, with their own words and their own actions, they're just uh, dismantling their entire ideology uh, that they've worked very hard to build up to this point. Um, and in my opinion, they've turned the clock back uh, two, three years. Um, you know, just a few days ago, all you had to do uh, if you wanted to self-identify as anyone as you choose is just declare it. And it was a universal truth that that had to be accepted. Mm. Uh, but now uh, the truth is clear that uh, that's not the case. Now I'm being told you have to uh, do hormone treatments. You have to uh, start dressing the part. You have to wear the makeup. You have to change your identification. Um, so, you know, they've turned the clock back on their own movement a few years. And it's disappointing to see them give up so quickly on uh, something that they said they believe in so strongly. You know what, Ron? I, I had to chuckle watching genuine news reports having to report this legitimately because how else could they do it without obviously disrespecting you? without respecting your right to self-identity, which it just made me laugh. Ryan, I appreciate you joining me for Piers Morgan Uncensored. Thank you. What are you currently identifying as? Uh, I'm currently, uh, at the same time, I'm still identifying as a woman of colour. And I've, I've said uh, in a few other times, these journeys are often complex. And, uh, you know, sometimes we never know where they're going to take us. We could end up right back where we started. Um, <laughs> I'm just riding the... I'm just riding the wave, and wherever it takes me, that's where I'll be. Well, I wish you all the very best with your journey, Ryan, and thank you very much indeed for joining me. Thank you.